خاطب الحور الحسان وطالبا لوصالهن بجنة الحيوان أسرع وحث السير جاهدك إنما مسراك هذا ساعة لزمان هي جنة طابت وطاب نعيمها فنعيمها باق وليس بفان وبناء The sixth thing of the permissible type of intercession is coming closer to Allah the Almighty by confessing one's sins. And this has a, a direct relationship to what we have already talked about. Confess your sins to your Lord, to Him alone, not to anyone else. The second type of general intercession, which is the prohibited type of intercession, is number one, requesting or supplicating to the dead and asking their intercession. And this is from the major shirk which takes a person out of the fold of Islam. إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ وَنْ يُشْرِكَ بِي وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونِ ذَلَكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءَ Verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive that you uh, associate partners with Him, but He forgives for other than that, for whomsoever He pleases, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So stay away from shirk in all of its various forms. And the second type of prohibited intercession is asking Allah by the honor of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or from other than him, salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi. And this is an innovation. This is not shirk, but this is prohibited and it is bid'ah. It is innovation. The third type of prohibited inter uh, intercession is asking Allah, the Almighty, by the rights of created things. So these are all the prohibited types of intercession that we must stay away from and avoid. The Shaykh went on to mention after that, he mentioned disbelief. So after we talked about shirk, which is the major form of disbelief, he mentioned the Shaykh Hafizullah Ta'ala, disbelief. He said in disbelief, it means a lack of faith in Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it is the opposite of, uh, of having faith, uh, the Iman. And it is of two types, the major disbelief and the minor disbelief, as we mentioned. And the major disbelief can further be divided into five types. Number one, disbelieving by rejecting the truth. Number two, disbelief by refusing the truth out of arrogance. Number three, disbelief due to doubt. A'udhu billah min dhalika. And number four, disbelief due to rejection and shunning is, uh, iman or shunning Islam. And the fifth type of disbelief is di disbelief by hypocrisy. And the major disbelief takes one outside of the fold of Islam. This means that the person who falls into those types of disbelief, they will become a disbeliever. And a very important point that we have.